Religious women are different. They have something extremely powerful around which they revolve their lives. It's called self-righteous belief. They use it to be accepted in their communities and the larger part of society. They have the massive power and leverage of belief to do anything they want and associate that with acting upon the orders of God. Sometimes, it's just amusing to see how modern women can do anything they want and use God to justify their actions. For example, I just saw a post on Instagram about a woman who says she's a good Christian promiscuous person because God has sent her to earth to enjoy having pleasure with men. Another post was about a woman who said she dreams of being with a hundred men because God said so. Women tend to turn to God after they mess up a relationship. I have observed this after men have dumped or abandoned them, or they have cheated and monkey branched to other men. Is it just repentance? Or do they need someone to replace the dominant male figure in their lives, and that's why they turn to God instead? They return to their previous habits when they get back on track with another or the same man so I don't think they change at all. Many women claim they don't need the support of any movement because they are young, beautiful, and in good physical shape. Likewise, with regard to religion, young and attractive women who don't need religion are in high demand. The church women are older, single, or married, and they have families in the churches for a reason. I've only ever interacted with one woman in the church, and she was most certainly not attractive. However, there were a lot of decent and idealistic men there. Isn't it clear by this point why women turn into such good little Christians after their guys dump them? A woman doesn't want to go through the same experience once more to make sure that the next guy doesn't dump her because getting dumped destroys her self-esteem. She will go to any lengths, including taking up religion, to win over a man who would feel terrible about leaving her. Additionally, Religious men face intense peer pressure to maintain their relationships with the women they are seeing. If I were a woman, I would look for males in the churches because I am confident that they would be more devoted to me and I'd be less likely to be duped. However, the vast majority of women do not experience being betrayed. Typically, it goes the other way. She then attends church to participate in so-called community activities. Such women then track down the religious men and bring them under control. And at that point, you genuinely start to miss the good old days. And I'm not making generalizations here, just sharing my perspective from what I've seen throughout my life. Since everyone else attends church between Christmas and Easter, she suddenly loses interest in going. Unless it's an emergency, since if she's not present at the holy place, it would reflect poorly on her. I've known men who had their religion undermined by ladies they had met at church. Religion lures men into its web because it plays on their feelings of guilt and humiliation. Even if we only steal paper clips or commit murder, the concept of sin is designed to make everyone feel ashamed and guilty all the time. Therefore, every sin is equally bad and is weighted accordingly. It is much simpler for a woman to influence and get a religious man to fall for her tricks since he is typically young, idealistic, and most likely sheltered when they first meet. God is undoubtedly not a temporary stand-in for man. Instead, the religious man is a long-term replacement for the previous atheist who deserted her. And perhaps this new man will stick around this time. The lack of religion in modern Western society may be one of the many reasons why men going their own way it is beginning to get more and more momentum. If a man believes in God, he may be more susceptible to manipulation by women. A man will naturally become more selfish if he doesn't experience remorse or shame for choosing not to procreate, bear fruit, and multiply as Christianity encourages. It becomes more challenging for many women to maintain their high status if the man doesn't have any children and doesn't feel bad about dating multiple women because he has the choice to move on to another woman. This kind of situation is uncommon in other Muslim societies where women are dressed uniformly. It is assumed that everyone is respectful and well-behaved due to their religious beliefs. However, it is clear that the majority of these ladies are merely acting religiously and claiming to believe in order to fit in with that community. They don't see religion as a tool they may use to change into someone else and attract a certain kind of easily seduced man. 
This female finds it more difficult to imitate her prey in societies where everyone has the same appearance and adheres to the same religion. It's not acceptable for her to pretend to like the same things that boys do. Therefore, the male isn't going out and looking for a woman who shares his interests. She shouldn't be interested in sports and going on hikes and canoe trips with him. She is instructed to take care of the house and the kids because it is what she finds interesting. She should also be doing these things because they are socially acceptable. However, it is progressively becoming socially acceptable for women to work and pursue education outside the home in many international nations and cultures. Women who work and attend school have lower birth rates, and they want to act like males. Religion also has a tendency to be disregarded at the time. But returning to the trolls who pose as religious in Western nations, they also do this to raise their SMV. Since you won't exactly be seeing them going around the block, you will have a hard time thinking of them as decent, God-fearing women. However, you are unsure if they have been riding the crucifix carousel. You have no way of knowing if the holy water in their hair is real or if they were sleeping with a priest. And the saddest thing is that the church or faith frequently employs religious girls to recruit new followers. I once knew a woman who appeared to like me and wanted to date me when I was a teenager and a Christian. However, her friends were Latter-day Saints when I really met them, and they turned up and tried to convert me. Having gorgeous women in your church is a terrific recruiting tactic. Perhaps there is a way for Protestant and United Churches to start employing attractive female pastors so that more people will start attending church. If I were in charge of one of these places, maybe then the number of visitors to such locations wouldn't be dropping precipitously. Additionally, that would disprove the notion that religions are inherently patriarchal. The churches would then be full of fresh males attending services solely to catch a sight of the goddess prancing around close to the altar, as well as envious ladies hoping that their attractive female pastor would ruin up the sermon. Christianity used to dominate the environment with its buildings, knowledge, and art because it had to do anything it could to compete for attention. The church has not evolved along with the changes in our culture. The church largely maintains its current state rather than making an effort to change to the new ways that people are evolving. When Christianity initially emerged, churches used to coincide their holy days with paganism to increase attendance. Churches are literally being transformed into condos, breweries, pubs, libraries, gyms, and even family homes as they lose their ability to draw people in on a regular basis. Most of the young guys ceased frequenting these holy locations after the young ladies did. Guys normally gravitate to where the women are. So if the women are using their laptops in coffee shops, then that is where the men will go as well. Religion is not a substitute fourth man that the lady dumps. Instead, it's a site where certain women, a very small percentage by historical standards, go to find men who are easily influenced and have weak minds. Because religion is conventional and patriarchal, communities with a strong religious tradition tend to be more family-oriented and have larger populations of children. Speaking from my observations, it is quite uncommon for women to return to church after being dumped in places like Canada. The majority of women up here don't turn to religion when they've been dumped. Instead, because they are now without a guy in their lives, they turn to Tinder to find fast attention. In general, people become less religious as our culture becomes more liberal. Religion may have formerly kept women in check along with the majority of men, but those times are long gone. And so, modern women who claim to be religious are a no-go for men. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.